In a letter sent to, in a letter to the U.S. Health and Human Services Department, the American Ambulance Association said services were at a breaking point nationwide. Not on your sides, Rogelio Mata spoke with a local fire official who says their department's ambulance crews are stretched thin because of the rise of COVID cases. If little Billy is on a skateboard and breaks his leg, well, when the ambulance services are, are exhausted or when they're pushed to their limit, little Billy's going to have to sit there with a broken leg for a little while. Is it that, is it that dire? I mean, yeah, unfortunately, it, it really is. Dr. Amber Rice is the medical director for the Northwest Fire District. Providers are getting stretched a little bit thinner and thinner as uh, both the hospitals get busier uh, and as staff uh, get sick uh, from COVID as well. So. She said she's had members of her staff test positive for COVID-19, just another hurdle to continuing to provide services to the public. The other rising cases of COVID-19 locally. Because of how busy the hospitals are and how full the ICUs have gotten, we're having to transfer patients uh, at a much higher rate from one hospital to another hospital, and that requires a lot more ambulances and a lot more providers. Rice says most departments have ambulance crews exclusively for transferring patients from one hospital to another. She says once that number reaches 50 patients, they have to start using ambulances from their emergency response crews. They have to wait there until we can physically get an ambulance to that hospital to take them to another place. Those places, she says, can be as far as a few hours or further. Because of our local system being very overburdened, that we're having to transport patients to places like California, uh, to New Mexico, up to Phoenix to be admitted to hospitals up there because it's the only bed available uh, within the within the whole southwest of the United States. She says crews need relief from that pattern if they're going to provide continuous service in their communities. For, so what does she consider relief? When the hospitals uh, start to be able to take care of the patients within their own walls without having to transport them to other places. Rogelio Mates, uh, KGUN 9, on your side.